Hello friends, today I will show you that how to add the reverse DNS and PTI records for a server. Reverse DNS and PTI records are essential for our server because due to because if your reverse and PTI records are already set then your emails will go to the inbox. Otherwise, if you don't set the reverse DNS and PTI records, then the emails will go to the spam. So let's begin and see that how to how can we add the reverse DNS and PTA records for our server? First of all, first of all, we have to log into our server through SSH. It's a very easy process and it will take a few minutes. So, just note, just listen to some points carefully because these are important so what you have to do like my ip is this so what i have what i have to do i have to take the first three part of my ip in the reverse direction the first three part of my ip i have to take in the reverse direction and add add that part in here first in this coding which i which i will run in ssh and second here which, which will I will which I will explain later so just make sure that you you copy the first three parts up of the IP the first three parts go reverse direction my copy karke in commands my paste for DJ now SSH may up cook your can I SSH may up quick command ye command this command will be highlight here this command you have to paste in your SSH and run this command and it will be appear like this so after that what you have to do after that you have to go to a WHM panel and go to the add a DNS zone now subse important part subse important part you have here you have to add your IP address here you have to add your IP address here and then you have to paste this command which I already mentioned in the description you have to paste this command here make sure that the IP the first three part of the IP will be in the reverse direction in this section and this will be same for every server so after adding this make sure there is no space so after adding this what you have to do you have to click on add zone now your reverse DNS is set how can you check the reverse DNS set you can go to the edit zone kaise pata lagega ki aapka reverse DNS set ho gaya aapko edit zone ka option mein jana hai edit zone ka option mein jake aapko isko select karke edit pe click kijiye and it will be appear like this so now we created the reverse DNS and now it's time for the PTI records. Now for the PTI records what we have to do for the PTI records we have to type each part of the IP here first this paste here and then select PTR and then the host name and my host name will be my host name will be this so now I will copy the other part the third part and do the same step and paste the host name here the process is same And now what I will do, I will just paste my IP from in the opposite direction. And now I will paste the fourth part here in the opposite direction and set the PTA records for the same. So here my reversion is set. Now the PTA records also 
created look now my mails will go to the inbox so this is how you can create the reverse channels and peter records the process is simple let me repeat it again within a minute first you have to go to your uh, to root ssh root and then you need to use this command make sure that your ip's first three parts make sure your ip's first three part will be here in opposite direction and after run this command you have to go to your whm panel and go to the add a dns zone after adding in the dns zone you have to add here your ip and here this line which i already mentioned the description this one and here the first three part in the reverse direction of your ip just add it here and when it will add in the dns zone go to the edit section go to the edit section edit it and then add the pt records in the opposite direction with all the ips like this and here it will be a host name so this is how you can set the reverse dns and the pt records for your server and vps so that your emails will go to the inbox now your email will go to the inbox not in the spam folder Thanks for watching this video like and subscribe i will upload more videos to help you regarding the all the technical queries so that you don't don't have to pay to the developers who charge you so much for this small issue thank you for watching like and subscribe thank you guys